All right, everybody, welcome to the show this week. Midwest Mike's coming back at you with a fresh show. I'm Gary. This is Austin. <clears throat> and we are ready to go this week. Lots of uh, hot topics. Uh, we usually kind of start off with high school football. And, you know, why would this week be any different? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about the playoffs coming up here. Well, I think it's going to be good. And uh, I think we should touch base on your team and i think we should touch base on some of the, our friends teams and let everybody know what's going on with these guys all right so start off with, start off with shawnee mission east man yeah shawnee mission east uh we did um lock in the two seed for the playoffs um our jv completed their season yesterday with a record of seven and one lost the first one to gardner and then won seven in a row our freshmen completed their season today with a record of 7-2. and two. They played nine games. They played an extra one against Shawnee Mission West today. Um, and so now Varsity is getting ready for the playoffs. We open Thursday night against Harmon, uh, which, you know, should be a pretty fairly easy round one game. I mean, when you get the two seed in the playoffs for the East – uh, you know, you should really get an easy round one game, you know, if you're a one, two, or three seed. The one was obviously Gardner, uh, who did go 8 0 in the regular season. Um, and so we're the two. Olathe North is the three. Uh, and I can't remember who the four was. Um, but looking at our bracket, uh, if it works out. The way I think it will, we will play Blue Valley in the second round, which that's a heck of a second round matchup if you think about it, because that's a semifinal game from two years ago. Yeah, us versus Blue Valley, and you know having to play them second round of the playoffs that'll be tough. Um, and then you know after that the quarterfinals, uh, it's probably would be Olathe North versus the winner of us versus Blue Valley. You know, I mean, obviously, I, I think my team has the ability to get there. Uh, we played Olathe North, you know, earlier in the year, did get them that time. But, you know, every game's a, a new week. So, you know, Olathe North, seeing them again. And then, I mean, semifinal, the top half of the bracket, uh, the teams that I think could come out of there. I mean, obviously, you got to respect Gardner. They've been undefeated. They're 8 no. Uh, going into the playoffs, uh, but the sneaky team up up in the top half of the bracket really is Blue Valley North. Of course, you know I mean Mertz is yeah. healthy now. Uh, they, you know, obviously he dealt with some injury stuff early, missed a couple games. They lost some early games, and so you know it'll be uh, it'll be you know interesting to see when they match up with Gardner and you know who who comes out on top in that game, but. Those are the two teams I really feel like in the top half of the bracket that have a chance. Uh, in our half of the bracket, I mean, obviously, Olathe North, us, and I'm going to put Blue Valley in there because you never can count out a Blue Valley team. Uh, Blue Valley High, they're always going to be well coached and be doing well. So that's kind of the uh, summation of the East. Uh, I mean, in the West, I didn't study the bracket a ton. Derby's one and Free State's two, and – I mean, I really feel like it'll come down to those two teams. Yeah, I to, think. Yeah, to I think see you're, who goes yeah, to state. Yeah, I think you're right on that. So that'll be this be good. That'd be yeah. a really really good game. So mm-hmm. uh, let's talk about our buddy, our buddy at Van Horn. All right, uh, Coach Harris over at Van Horn. Uh, they finished the regular season at seven and two, and or got the number two seed in the playoffs in their district. Because Missouri's a little different than Kansas. So, I mean, I haven't studied the bracket a ton, but I did talk to him. Uh, he feels like they got a good chance to win this week. And then they would get, um, you know, I think it was not next week, but the week after if they won it, if they continued to win. At some point he said they would match up with Grain Valley, uh, which Coach Ali out in Grain Valley, longtime Raytown South head coach, actually – Coach Coach Harris in high school, so yeah, that'd be fun. That that would be a tough matchup, you know, obviously for them. But uh, you know, so they they got the two seed, and you know, like I said, if you get a two seed, you really should 
get an easy first round game. He didn't tell me he thought he had an easy first round game, but uh, I mean, I feel like they should. They do play Raytown South, who is down this year. I feel like they should be able to beat them uh, in round one. So um, William Christman, I think they were a they were a two or a three seed in their district. Um, they got Truman this week, and they've already beat Truman once. They really should beat Truman again. And I don't remember who their second round opponent would be, uh, but uh, everybody's excuse me, everybody's starting playoffs this week, and you know, hopefully, uh, all of our friends get get a win in week one and yeah. get to keep playing one more week. Yeah, that'd be great. So that'd be good to see everybody get a W this week. I'm sure you guys will. So good, yeah, I good. mean, the the great thing about high school football and and playoffs this time of year is just you know you're only guaranteed. You know, we're only guaranteed at this point, it's Tuesday, we're only guaranteed one more practice. You know, we play Thursday, and, you know, if if we mess up and Harmon gets us, then, you know, that's it. Pack it up, and we're off for six, eight months, and then we're back at it. But, um, or not off, but not practicing football yeah. for six or eight months. Yeah. And, you know, not ready to pack it in yet, so... We win Thursday. That guarantees us another week together, just like everybody else, you know, in the state of Kansas right now. There's 32 six A teams that are going to go out and have one more practice tomorrow, and then after Thursday, Friday's games, sixteen baby, sixteen teams left. All right, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Yeah, so so exciting week, college. Biggest deal of the weekend to me, Scott Frost finally got his first win. Yeah, and they looked good. And I actually got to watch some of it. I was, uh, Yeah, I watched some of that game because um, the Missouri game, Missouri was playing Memphis, and so I was watching Missouri. Missouri scored 65. And Memphis still put 30 on us, but, but Missouri some of the, handled some of the, Yeah, and they, they had brought in some of the second street dudes like when they got up by, uh, I think they got up getting by like 30 or whatever, they brought some other guys yeah. in. So, anyways, flipped over to that game. Uh, Nebraska, uh, I feel like in that game, kind of found their identity a little bit. They ran the ball for something like um, – they ran the ball for almost 400 yards. And so, I'm like, guys, like – the thing is, too, he, I know it's a process, and he's got to weed out the guys that aren't buying in. And so, I, I think that's starting to come around. They beat – who they beat? They beat uh, Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota's not terrible. Actually, most big teams aren't really bad. Big I mean, there's, ten. There's, there's, yeah, yeah there's, there's really not that many big team, big ten teams that are terrible, right? Mm-hmm. Like Rutgers, maybe. I don't yeah. know. So, anyways, wins a win, and now he's going to win five straight, and they're going to go to a bowl game. So, bam. Hey, maybe we'll see. Um, I, I watched a lot of Big Ten over the weekend. You know, I watched Iowa play, uh, not Michigan, uh, Indiana. And pretty much handle them from start to finish. Yeah, they should have. Uh, yeah, and they should have. And it was never a game. Uh, I watched Michigan, Michigan State, the end of it. Uh, Michigan State was trying to kind of hang in there and make it a game, but Michigan took over as, as well they should have. Uh, you know, and uh, wasn't that Jim Harbaugh's first win versus Michigan State? Yeah, weren't you saying that last week? That yeah, it's his kinda, first. Yeah, because he hasn't he hasn't done he's a uh, not done well in rivalry. He hasn't done games. well in rivalry games, and then this one they kind of put the hammer on him. I know the weather was bad, but Michigan State didn't even get a hundred yards of offense. Yeah, I think it's like ninety six yards, and so my pick stays alive. Uh, Michigan did exactly what they do, which is they play defense and ran the ball, um, and then their quarterback actually that quarterback keeps getting better every week. Yeah. And the thing is, that loss they have against Notre Dame is looking like a really good loss. You lose to Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre North, Dame looks really good. Notre Dame's really good. I think they're, what, four? They're four. And yeah. I think Michigan's five. Yeah. And so it's. I think uh, I think that I was going through the AP. I think, I think it's pretty much correct. I will only say this about Clemson. Their toughest win this year, I think, is A&M on the road. Other than that, the ACC is, is not very good. And so their strength of schedule to me is not very good. But if they run the table, they should get in. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to start getting tough because we'll have we potentially could have three teams that run the table with UCF. And I don't know if I was, was I talking about this with you or somebody else. Where if if UCF runs the table, they should probably be four. 
Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to look at it. Who's your other two you think are going to run the table? Bama will run the table. Oh, yeah, Bama. Clem- and Clemson will run the ACC. Okay. So I'm thinking what happens is, and I think I think the Big 12 will get, might get disrespected this year and not get somebody in. I, I could see that happening. Because uh, they don't have anybody in the top four right now. Yeah. The I, highest one is Texas at six. I think if Alabama, Clemson, and UCF all go undefeated, I mean, Alabama and Clemson are locks. Right. I mean, they're going to get in. There, There's your one and two. Um, oh, Notre Dame. Well, Notre Dame could run it. Yeah, Notre Dame could. Uh, I mean, I feel like the winner of the Big Ten maybe gets in. Uh, but I could definitely see the Big 12 not getting a team in. I mean, uh, would you take a – In that case. It's tough because – Do you take you, a UCF over a two-loss Oklahoma? And they're, the thing about UCF is they're killing everybody. Mm-hmm. And, the, and then last year when they played Auburn, they beat them by two scores. Yeah. Which, which makes you think, shoot, they, maybe they should have been in. But yeah. who do you – last year, I don't know who you put them in over. I don't yeah. know. Uh, not, I mean, Georgia, I don't. not Georgia, not Bama. Yeah. I mean, like – you know, not Clemson, not Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean it's just, uh, but uh, okay. But yeah. Let's just okay. That's it. Let's just expand to eight teams, and we're good. I, I, I've, I've said that almost from day one. If you go eight teams, you the winner of all your Power Five get in. Yep, and then okay. and then you got three, and then you got three to play with. So then an undefeated UCF can get in. No problem. No problem. And then you know you got. Even still, two more at-large bids. So maybe if, say, you had a one-loss Georgia in the SEC and an undefeated Alabama, you can put both those teams in. I mean, even and then if like you, uh, yeah, say that that, and then like a I was uh, undefeated or a one-loss Notre Dame probably gets in. Yeah, because Notre Dame's schedule. Well, they play their schedule. They don't have like any super. I don't know, let me look at their schedule. I mean, I don't I, think they have any like opponent. Like they don't have any teams they play that are like trash. Yeah. Like, they always play, like, solid. Here we go. I mean, here, here it is. I just fixed it. College football playoff, man. Power five, and then you get three at-large bids. Easy. Fixed. Yeah. Do it. Next year. You just fixed it. Yeah, Notre yeah. Dame's schedule goes, win against Michigan is strong. Yep. And they play Ball State, not strong. They beat Vandy, whatever. They beat Wake, they smashed Wake Forest, whatever. They beat Stanford by a lot, by 21. Mm-hmm. That's, a good, that's win. a good win. Beat Virginia Tech. It's a, that's, that's a, a good that's win. That's a good I win. Yeah, that's a decent win. Beat Pittsburgh. Uh, they got to play Navy. They play Navy Saturday. Uh, Which that's a rivalry game. Yeah, and the thing about Navy is Navy's like a good six win team. Yeah. Always. They run triple option. They're tough. Yep. yep. I mean, like you saw. You Our defense of end, uh, PJ Spencer, has an offer to Navy. Oh, they really? Mm hmm. Be in the, you have to be in the Navy to play there. Yeah, so I, I don't know if he'll really go. <laughs> they, they've offered him. Uh, so they got Navy. They got Northwestern, which is a good win, too. I think Northwestern's decent. Uh, Florida State, eh, and then Syracuse, eh, and then USC yeah. is decent. So they don't play anybody that's, like, really bad. Probably just Ball State was their, is their worst one. Anyway, yeah. so – but I will say this. I don't, I don't know how it ends up playing out, but I will – like, with all that seeding – but I'll say this: I still think that Alabama wins the national championship. Yeah, and I actually think they win it by two scores. Yeah, I mean, I really feel like Alabama's head and shoulders better than anybody. I else. would not bet like on that game, that championship game. You, you could give me Bama all the way to minus fourteen, and I'll take it. Yeah, I think their quarterback's that good. I think he's going to win the Heisman. Yeah, yeah, I think he's going to win the Heisman, and I think some of that dual quarterback stuff they run is actually pretty cool. Their defense is really good. I mean, it's like the same story, right? Yep, yep. And Saban. Yep, same story. Uh, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the year shakes out. Uh, you know, I was reading this article, which obviously is on an Iowa fan site, saying how they have an outside chance to get in the playoff. You know, if they run the rest of the one table. Loss to, one loss? One loss. To win who? the Big Ten to Wisconsin. So, I mean, it's a quality loss. Uh you know, I, I don't see it happening. I don't think Iowa could compete on a level with Alabama. So if you, you match need, them up. What do you need? Do they, do Iowa needs Wisconsin to lose it, lose one more game, or they need uh, they need Wisconsin to lose another game. Yeah, they need Wisconsin to lose, uh, and then I mean, obviously they got win out, and then playing the Big Ten championship, and then hope.